Hello everyone. I want to show you where I'll go to get away from things. And now it's a good time to get away, to go to a safe place, to think about things. And here on the land, this is the teepee, a place of solitude, rest, to relax, sit down in front of a nice fire, and think about things. If you don't make time to slow down and think about things, you can get lost to a point that you may not find yourself. But this is where I go when I have the time to escape from the reality connected to heavy populated areas and of course world events and things that are happening. Do you see the clouds moving slowly? This is where I go to find peace, harmony, transformation and understanding. I'm going to share something with you. I want you to listen. There is times in life when we are surrounded by chaos and confusion. Is it not? I'm asking you a question. Over the last three months, I'm going to share a part of my life with you, things that have happened. I have always done very well in my career. I'm very good at what I do. I've been doing this for over 30 years. And I've always been able to work and never get caught up in October, November, and December in my line of work if you don't have work at that time you're not going to work because the contracts are coming to the end according to the budget but this time it happened and it happened for a reason at the beginning I didn't I didn't know why every time I turned around over 12 potential positions related to my work failed one right after another right after another to the point I started to fall into depression I thought that I was being spiritually attacked and I fell deeper and deeper into depression I made a video on how to correct that, how to change your reality. But no matter what I set out to do, it just simply wasn't going to happen for some reason. And I was confused by this. And as the time went by, from October to January 2020, I finally realized what it was. If you watch part two, the message, you will understand what I'm, I'm getting at. 
but that's not the whole story. If I had a position with related to my work, I wouldn't have never had the time to do the videos that I have put up, which was extremely important. And I really didn't know how important they was, but I thought they was important. When I started the series, I think what is to come, and then the three videos I did about the children, and what was going on in Australia. And then the introduction to the sign and then the five part series and then the last one it's here these are the most important videos I have done on this channel mostly the ones that I put up was basically about plastic the environment Fukushima flooding personal thoughts with my son on how to change your reality and so forth but the last two weeks of putting up videos that is extremely important I didn't really understand how important it was until yesterday Yesterday, I was talking with a friend of mine, Chris, up in Wyoming. He calls me Mr. James. And I told him, I, th I think I'm being spiritually attacked. And I don't understand why, because I'm a good person, a good soul, and I help out so many people. And this is what Chris told me. He calls me Mr. James. He said, sometimes the Lord talks to you and you're not listening. The Father talks to you, the Source, and you're not listening. Because we're always working and the type of work I do is very difficult and it takes a lot of concentration. And it's, it's therapy for me because it keeps my mind off all of this other stuff that's happening. And he said, you, you're not listening. You, you need to change the way you're looking at things and the things that you're looking at will change. That's, that's what I've always told people, but I had to apply it to this one. I said, what are you getting at? He said, Mr. James, we're so called up and making money, trying to survive, trying to find work and working, that we don't slow down to look at things. So, I said, man, what's your point? He said, you got something to do, but you don't know what it is. You have a purpose and you're not listening. I said, okay, thank you. And then today, it dawned on me what it was. If I was working, I would never have the time to put those videos up that I consider is very important now. The sign, what is to come, and those three children. They would have never got put up on this channel. But because I was stopped for over 12 different prospects of contracts that I could have had, it was taken away from me and I assumed I was being attacked, spiritually attacked, like so many other people is going through right now. 
And then once I realized how important in reading the posts from such wonderful subscribers like yourself, saying, I never knew about the sign, September 23rd, 2017. Or that video you said, think what is to come is amazing. And then the last one I did was, it's here, thank you. God, I didn't know all this was happening. And I didn't know what was happening to me. I believe things happen for a reason. I'm just simply a messenger. I am no one special. I don't want to be special. I just try to present people with a message. After four years of studying, 198 subjects, I've got a lot of stuff going on. And I'll think about all of this every day. From the moment I go up, get up in the morning, throughout the day, before I go to bed. I have to take sleeping medication so I, I can get some sleep because if I don't, I, I wake up two or three times thinking about all of this. Because that's what I, I do. I'm a critical thinker. And now I know what it was about. It was about you. The video I did about the message was about you. It wasn't about me. It was about you. If you will stop just for a moment and think what I'm trying to present to you. On that video, the message, I was on the land right here. This is where I live. You see the clouds moving in the background? Very slowly. That's the creator of this wonderful universe, and this planet and ourselves and we don't slow down to listen we don't one of my favorite things to do when I'm on the land is lay up under a beautiful tree and feel the nice wind blowing and hear the sound of the wind and I'm at 7500 feet and I look up through the trees and I see these beautiful clouds moving And it puts me in a state of mind of transformation and understanding. And I can't get that anywhere else but there. So the whole time I spent blaming myself, maybe I made the wrong mistake. Maybe I should have took that, that one position that another friend offered me, but I, I turned it down because I thought I needed to go to Texas. Maybe that was a mistake I did. Maybe it wasn't. Sometimes in life, you have to make a decision. It's not necessarily the wrong or right decision at that moment, but it's a decision that has to be made. And then later on in life, you will find out if it was the correct decision or a mistake in your life. And you learn from that. And you move forward. So, the last couple of weeks, making all these phone calls, I must have talked to about 50 people and 100 phone calls. And it was all no. No. And today, I made 25 calls to call the superintendents from all these companies. And their voicemail was all full. And then I realized something's going on. I've never seen it like that. And it hit me today. 
and then the moment that I realized what it was about it was about it's not it's not about me it's about you it's about you not me if you if you're willing to listen because I speak very slow and it takes me a, a long time to get to the point is what once the scribe was said. I said that's okay I'm too laid back and easy going to a certain point so this is it the moment I realized what was happening God was telling me to stop Chris pointed it out to me stop you need to listen you need to pay attention and I wasn't doing it I was blaming myself I thought I was being spiritually attacked and then I realized I was stopped God stopped me for three months out of my life to learn how to work this screen recorder put up some important videos that I was told to do by the Spirit. The Great Spirit told me that. But I didn't think that it would have so much response. The last one in four hours, I got 234 views on it. I never had that in one day. So, once I realized what it was about, Then a good friend of mine called me today, Big John. Because I had on my mind that this job was going to be taken away from me as well. And I was told today by Big John that I have a potential position for you in two weeks in Colorado. And I'm the welded boss. I said, God, once I realized what it was about, then here comes this other message from Big John. It's going to be okay. It's a lesson to be learned. Money is not everything. We think it is. My mother told me years ago, it grows on the trees. I'm looking at a bunch of trees and I don't see no money growing on them. And then she said, money makes the world go well. I said, no, it doesn't. We get so caught up in our lives that we don't pay attention. We don't take time to look at them clouds, how slow they're moving at 7,500 feet. We, we don't take time for that. When it's so quiet, you hear absolutely nothing but the wind blowing through the trees and the land is speaking to you. And I want to tell you, that's, that's the best spiritual medicine I have ever found. Because it's all connected. It's all connected to the universe and it's connected to the source that created the universe. And I'm a part of it and so are you. I told Big John about all of the stuff that happened today. The video I put up. And we both agreed, if we are going to let a terrorist attack, the potential of something horrible here in America, consume our reality, then they won. They won. It's called terror. Terrorist. Fear. I believe fear is the lack of understanding and love of Christ, Jesus Christ, myself. And I'm not ashamed to put that up here. I'm not religious, but I'm very spiritual as a Christian. But look at that right there.
Do you see the clouds moving? It's beautiful. So what I'm trying to say is, because I talk too slow and it takes me a long time to get to the point, that's okay. I'm not going to say the word need because I don't like that word. I don't need to do anything. I should do something. I don't need to do something. But I should. You should take a moment and understand that the answers are out there. If you would just take a brief moment, get out of the city, find you a beautiful place, and go hang out with nature and be quiet. It will come to you. It happens every time for me. So this is my plan now because the message has been presented to me and I understand it now. I understand it's not about me. It wasn't about money. It was to stop me in my tracks and put them videos up for 3,000 subscribers. Because if you go back and look at the video, the message, this is what I was told. Time is speeding up. Time for my return. Tell them. And I said, I already did. I told my family, my friends, and my co-workers, and they're not listening. Tell them. Time for my return. And I realized what it was. It's not about me. It's about you. This video is about me. About you. Not about me. It's about you. Yes, I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm leaving Texas. I'm 12 hours from this land right here. And I'm getting out of here. If something happens, I'm, I never get back to this place right here. It's never going to happen. I'll be stuck somewhere. The EMP attack will basically wipe out my vehicle. And even if it doesn't, I can't get any diesel for my truck. And I'm stuck. And I don't even have a weapon. And the government's trying to take them away from us. But I have to defend myself. And what am I going to do? Throw some, a can of Campbell's soup at them? We have the right to protect ourselves. We have the right to bear arms. And I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt anyone. But I feel like I, I have the right to defend myself. And if I ever said anything on any of these videos that might have hurt you, I apologize. You tell me what it was, please. I am just simply putting up a message. You can take it or leave it. You can do whatever you want to do with it. Just like that last one. It's here. You can do whatever you want to do with it. Delete it. You don't have to watch it. If that's what you want to do. I suggest you watch the signs. Because that right there. That, that one video. It's here is one of the signs. They're coming for us. We are a threat to their programming and their cause. And I'm so grateful that I live out in the middle of nowhere, two hours from somewhere. And I'm away from heavy populated areas. A buddy of mine said he, he might have some work over there in 
Cincinnati, Ohio. I told him, I said, man, I ain't going there, dude. There ain't no way. If something happens, I'll never make it back. But he's going to have to go. Because he's in a financial jam. To the point that he may lose his truck. Or the place where he lives. So see, they control us by money. If you ain't got no money, you're going to find yourself homeless. Depression. Maybe even to the point of suicide. Then let's change that. Let's move into something positive. Okay? It's raining right here. It's beautiful. That was recorded back in October. Soon after that, all of my stuff started coming down. But I never lost faith in God. I continue to pray every night. And now I know what the message was. To me, I'm always good about giving messages to you. But now I received a message. And it wasn't about me. It was about you. Tell them. Time is speeding up. Time for his return. And if you're not paying attention, you're going to miss the boat. I already got my ticket. I'm not perfect and neither are you. No one is. That's why he came. He's far more than a, a brother. I've heard that stuff. Oh man, Jesus, he's our brother. I said, yeah, that's true, but he's way more than that. He's been here. And he went through death. All of the apostles did. Apostle Paul, Peter, John, all of them. Your parents maybe have. My grandparents have. We all go through it. And I asked my son about it. He said, no. You're in the third dimension. We're all in the third dimension using 3% of your brain. They're way beyond us. I said, I know all that. I just don't understand this death thing. He said, it's part of the process, Dad. I said, wow. Okay. I agree with you on that. It's part of the process. I don't understand it, but it's okay. It's part of the process. We're going to get out of here through that process. To break the plane of this reality and go through the veil into the spiritual world. In order for that to happen, your soul has to be separated from this material body that sometimes aches, gives us a hard time, but it's all we got. So now I know the message. It wasn't for me. It was for you, the first one. But this one, this is my message. And my brother John, he answered my prayers today. He validated it. I sent him a voicemail this morning. I was saying, wow, if you don't return my call, I know that this process is still going to continue in my reality. But Big John, he came on through because he's a good guy. He's a good man. So I'm telling you, I'm leaving. Texas to go home. I already had that decision even before I talked to Big John. I'm leaving here because I'm not going to sit here and wait on a phone call that's not going to come when all of this stuff is occurring. I'm going to put myself in a position that I may not get out of. You are the result of your own reality and so am I. You think about that. 
change the way you look at things and the things that you look at will change. So I'm changing. I'm changing my reality now because that section of my life, as you see, it's I'm going to get through it. It's over with now. I'm heading to my land. I'm off the grid in a safe location in the middle of nowhere, two hours from somewhere. Yes, I'm alone. It'd be nice to find a wonderful woman to share life with. I don't see that happening. So, that's my plan. If I get a chance, i put up a video sometime next week. Maybe one this weekend. Maybe not. I don't know how long this channel is going to be up. They're deleting people's posts. They're deleting my videos. So I don't know anymore. I'm going to change my floor mat. Go do some different video channels. So, I love you all. Spend as much time with your families and your loved ones and tell them each and every day, I love you. And if you did something that was wrong, tell them, I apologize, I'm sorry. Do you still love me? Think about it. Share love. Help others. Be strong. Do not lose your faith. Continue to pray for Tom, a subscriber that's having difficult times. Tom, if you're listening, you're in our prayers, brother. We love you. Isn't that beautiful? That's totally amazing. Thank you all. Be safe, everyone. And hopefully, the next video will be from the land. Thank you.